looking at the topic of sustainability. What is sustainability? What does it mean for us? And are we really that receptive towards a sustainable future? Welcome to Ashburton, a small township just an hour's drive south from Christchurch. So what do Ashburtonians really think of their environmental sustainability? Well, let's find out. When you're talking about sustainability, it means that the future generations are going to be just proud of the current uh, environment, the, uh, what the district has to offer for them as it does for now. You sit there thinking, okay, the world's been around for this long, it's going to be still around for that long again, you know, but I guess we all do have to look after it. I try to recycle anything that's recyclable. I have eco-friendly bulbs, I um, grow my own veggies, mm -hmm. mainly. So, after seeing that, you're probably thinking, yeah, Ashburton's a pretty sustainable township after all, and in many respects, you'd be right. Yet there's one aspect of our district that's letting us down. One aspect that's creating more pollution by the day. Farming. Here we are, about 30 minutes out of Ashburton, near a local farming community in the district. We've been invited to film on a local farmer's property to see exactly what sort of environmentally sustainable initiatives his farm is making towards a sustainable future. G'day! I'm Farmer Dag and I'm a 40-something year old livestock farmer in the Ashburton district. Mr Dag's your average mid-Cantabrian livestock farmer. He has a wife and two kids. He works hard for a living and he maintains a fairly sustainable farm. Yet what's he like when it comes to environmental sustainability? Nah, bloody greenies. That's right. He doesn't give it much thought. In fact, nature acts as his wasteland. Yet if you think that's bad, wait till you see the dead sheep hole. I've been living here for about 20 years. I go through about a whole of rubbish a year. I just see it as the most economic and viable way to dispose of my rubbish. We are totally opposed to um, poisonous or hazardous materials being disposed in these uh, pits. But in today's world, there must be some actions Mr. Dag's taking towards a sustainable future, right? Oh, you know how it is. I uh, save power when I can and uh, don't use the truck as much as most other farmers do. But, uh, you know, you've got to be careful that your environmental sustainability doesn't outweigh your economic sustainability. Because, uh, after all, it's all about the money. So after seeing that, is a sustainable future for the Ashburn district actually achievable? If we have the will, it is achievable. I suspect, however, the, the monetary cost will create barriers that some people are not prepared to, to look at, but the, the long-term cost, if we don't, is far greater. So I, I think the question really needs to be, do we have an option? I feel maintain the future we would like for our district, we need to work with the farmers by providing sustainable initiatives to create a sustainable future for generations to come. I'm Luke Adam. Good evening.